It's Sunday, it's 1967, and it's Kings Lynn Market Square. A group of lads in a band called the Alex Wilson Set have arrived early for a gig and a killing time by making a film. The band was made up of Norfolk lads, and more than 30 years later, the boys are back together to watch the footage of the fun and foolishness of their youth in this exciting era. The manager of the band was Tony Baker. He was also the man who shot these films. They used to call me Boney Taker, which obviously is a switch around of my name, Tony Baker. Boney, 10% Taker, you know, it was always sort of, here he comes, he's after his percentage. We used to get £12.50. Then we really hit the big time. You know, we used to get 25 quid, which, which wasn't bad. <laughs> One of the longest serving members of the band was the drummer. Jim remembers buying his first drum kit on higher purchase. Oh, that was huge, that was it's, uh, it's day the 16th of May 1964, and it's uh, a drum kit from, from mornings at uh, 14 Newmarket Beckles for uh, 15 pounds and two shillings. <laughs> No, I did pay off the last three pounds, four and eightpence, <laughs> so they're not going to chase me up for it. That was my first drum kit. I suppose that really sort of, buying that drum kit really shaped a lot of, um, oh, my adult life in a way, you know, I suppose. You're just sort of escaping that sort of normal type uh, life, you know, and uh, going to be doing something a bit more exciting and a bit more adventurous. John Tuttle was a schoolboy when he took up the saxophone. There was a lot of bands of that era that featured saxophones. I thought it was groovy, I thought it was a, you know, a nice instrument, I mean, it, it, it appealed to me. In the early days, I mean, obviously it was just fun, it was just um, the right thing to do, it was a hobby really, but I think as, as we progressively got better and we were well received, it's only natural that you, your ambitions went towards trying to make it. In 1965, the lead singer was Derek Driver. It starts with just a little class now, by the way you think about romance. This was a demonstration disc that we made, I think, in 1966. And it was made in a, basically a front room in, uh, in Wisbeach that doubled as a studio. And um, I always remember that Brian, who was the very cash-conscious one in the group, um, made us play a couple of gigs before we did it to pay for it, basically, and I think I suffered a bit with the vocals, but that's my excuse. But it still plays, and I still uh, bore my friends occasionally. It still sounds reasonable. Mr. Tambourine Man. Look at that. I think we enjoyed the fame or local fame, if nothing else. Um, I don't think money was an issue really. It was just uh, just enjoyed getting a buzz from the crowd. <laughs> I think it was a good thing to be in a band because, uh, yeah, especially a singer like myself, um, you didn't have to do too much. Uh, chatting up, shall we say, and um, they were quite interested in lots of us, but um, singers did all right. Yeah. Used to be called Groovies? <laughs> yeah, followers, yeah, we did. How did we get on? I guess we had a great time. When you're young, you're single, you know, teenagers, and um, yeah, we had a good time. By now, the band had turned pro and called themselves KISS. They were moving in music circles among big names. It looked like the break they were waiting for. I think we were unlucky because we were rubbing shoulders with The Who and Moody Blues, met the Beach Boys. And uh, so I think when we were in that circumstance, we thought we'd really, we were there, you know. We were definitely a, like a sort of um, a nearly band. If we'd had maybe just had a little bit more luck, but it just didn't happen, you know, and so sometimes you can't sort of 
control these things, you know, it just, it just didn't happen. And, uh, but uh, it's still a great time. We were probably there or thereabouts, but we just didn't make that final little push. And everybody got a little bit despondent and the band broke up. Various members left, <laughs> including myself. If we'd have made it, yes, great, but we didn't, and at least we had a go. So it was, that was great fun. Yeah. Thank you. Next time, delivering the mail in Norfolk, a life on railways and labour in the fields, the way we were at work. Thank you.